actually like a lot of Korean MMOs, and the reason why is because I like games with a grind. I actually really like grinding games, so Korean MMOs kind of really are great for me. Don't play Lost Ark. No, Lost Ark is really good. I'll give you an example as to why, right? Lost Ark is a masterclass on showing you new systems and then making those systems what is called evergreen. Does anyone not know what evergreen means when we're talking about systems design in video games? Evergreen means that it sticks around forever. The other type of system is called a borrowed power system. So imagine at the end of an expansion in World of Warcraft. Sometimes borrowed power is not bad though. You have, tr you know, leveled up a weapon a whole bunch by using artifact power and then it's gone. Next expansion, that whole system's deleted, right? That's a borrowed power system. Evergreen is the next expansion. That system stays there and you keep building on it. Stay I feel like too many evergreen systems makes it like Path of Exile where you're just like, what the fuck, right? Like if you do too many, if you don't get rid of stuff, then it's like, yo, like there's just so many things, you know? And then it's like hard to get in. So I feel like having borrowed power isn't always bad. I think it's good to keep like some systems, but I don't think, I, like I think eventually Transcendence and Elixir is just going to be on the gear. Like just like the fuck, if we were talking about this yesterday just like clown trumpets you know you just get a chest and it has clown trumpets on it you don't even think about that anymore triangle mats you don't even think about that 100 percent. i think by I, my prediction is guys i'm not even lying i think by winter low on i think the next event because i don't think your character will stay in tier four and once they have another winter once they have a third raid in tier four i think we're just going to move past a lot of that I really do. Because I don't think they're going to have tier three like it is. It'll be like tier two, where it's just like this dead piece of thing. I don't know. I mean, I do get what he's saying. But like when I played WoW, we used to bitch about borrowed powered systems. But honestly, I don't. I think the problem was is that they would spend. The, the reason why people talk about borrowed power is like when with WoW, this is where it really started. A lot of this borrowed power thing literally started with WoW. And the problem was they would introduce a system and then the system would come out and it would be bad for a while. While. And then they would slowly fix it over the expansion. And then by the end, it would probably be in a place that you'd say, okay, this is kind of cool or like whatever. And then they would get rid of it. So all the time that they spent on fixing it, they got rid of it. And then the next expansion, they would implement a new one. And then it would come out. It wouldn't be good. They'd have to fix it. And then when it got fixed, they'd get rid of it. So it's like that thing, that cycle felt pretty bad, right? But I don't think it's bad to get rid of systems. Like, you know, at the end of the day, it's just progression, right? You're just the whole point of these systems is it's a bad system. It, well, the, it's not that. What I'm, what's bad is that it didn't come out good in the first place, right? If it if it came out good and then you enjoyed it and you get rid of it, it makes it so for when somebody else comes back or new to the game, they don't have to like relearn something and then relearn and then relearn and then relearn and relearn. And relearn it's just a lot, right? And I think I think for two, you know, it's the exact reason why it's like hard to get into certain games like Path of Exile, right? There's just a lot of things you got to learn that's overwhelming. And so people are like, oh, I'll just wait for Path of Exile too. Right. But I feel like it's a balance, right? Like some systems can say some don't. And I don't think keeping everything always is good. It's good for the people that play the game sometimes, but I think it's hard for people that want to recheck out stuff. Phase, right? That's the evergreen system. Borrowed power feels like shit because it feels like your character is advancing. Oh, this is what I was going to say. Borrowed power feels bad when you lose it. But the whole point of a system in the first place is to keep you engaged with the content, right? Like that's what it is. You know, that it's like, then you have the scenario like Final Fantasy where it's like, well, I just do the raid and then what? You know, it's to keep people playing the game, you know? And ultimately, I think most MMO players, most, not all, but most, I would say, want to keep playing the game, right? They want to have a reason to continue to play and to continue to log in because most people that play MMOs, it's like the only thing that they do. It's like, you know, you can, th that's why we have like such a big identity crisis with like, oh, like, what do you, uh, did you stop, you, did you quit TL already or like what do i do or I, I i can't play that you know i it's like you it's like they really attribute like the it's the only thing they play not all but like a lot so people want that and so you need a system to make people play at least it turns out to suck but uh worst thing is the release back to, i think in the beginning though right like in the beginning when i got elixirs i remember i'm like yo this is way better than honing that's literally what i said <laughs> it was fun it was a game i got way stronger and it was like predict i mean that's what everyone said hey it was like pr it was controlled in some ways rng like decision making rng you know and then when you when it stays there and you look back you're like yo like that system's kind of dog so yeah i i don't think everyone wants evergreen because you don't want to re-experience you, you want you guys just want 40 set right so why even have the 40 set at all you know what i'm saying if you just want to have the 40 set i think it's a great example of why that's not true right because 
you just want me to give it to you, which means why have it in the first place? I think having a mixture of evergreen and borrowed power is fine, but I don't think we need to keep everything in reverse like you lose powers evergreen feels great because you engage with the system and it gets to stay forever lost ark every system is evergreen you engage with it and then it upgrades over time and it gets better and better and better and it just makes you cooler and cooler forever anything that you invest in that game is forever is warframe evergreen yes all the systems in warframe are evergreen as a result of this so the thing that's really interesting about that is i like evergreen systems lost ark is all evergreen systems i was uniquely drawn to lost ark because of this then there was a problem and the problem is is that the last like two percent of your progression at the end of lost ark it's a brick goddamn wall with a weekly timer and what you got to do is you got to get your weekly shit and then try it and you have a percentage chance to progress or not and it feels terrible it is the worst possible end game for any game ever it is just awful feeling it is horrible feeling so because of that i quit lost art but up until that point feels great the game is awesome up until that point it's fantastic it's fair i actually like it's fair i think i think what you're saying is true right like the lot the very until the very end of it is very 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 difficult i would say to be honest like 21 to 22 right is this i think that this level right here should be moved f ahead if that makes sense i don't think that it should be super difficult to reach any end game thing like what i mean is like rates honing rates right i think it should be like a little bit more lenient like this was the worst we ever had it which is why they ended up doing transcendence right it's it's it's, it's the scenario that happens in the game right eventually it's like okay well we don't want to do a gear reset because people don't like rehoning right people are done with honing we got to make them stronger we have to give them a system let's do elixirs let's do transcendence right this was probably like the worst feeling right here right this one right here so i think in general better rates and then to go beyond that i think it should be fucking stupid stupid heart, right? Because that's where it makes sense to have it. I think to go beyond like the fucking end game is where it should be difficult. I think that makes the most sense, right? So yeah, I don't know. We'll see the approach and how it goes going forward. I mean, I even think 1690 like for rates doesn't seem too crazy either. So we'll see how, how the honing goes. But I think this was a mistake for sure. This this right here was pretty, it was too much, right? Going to Voldis also kind of too much. You remember Voldis hard mode? Vold, Voldis hard mode was too much. Yeah, too much. Yeah, you need time though, but the rates aren't that bad, right? It's it's time, but it's not the rates. This shit was capped at 2%, bro. You know what I mean? It's about the rates, not time, right? Like, oh yeah, 69 is insane. Yeah, because you need time and mats. That's okay, I think. Maybe to his point, if you had no, you could just infinitely farm. But I don't know if, I don't even know if everyone would like that either. I don't know if players would like the, uh, the idea of being able to infinitely farm. You say that, but then it's like a BDO scenario where, you know, you're just fucking grinding for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours. And and hours and hours and hours and hours and you might not like that either some people might like just daily shit i think the reality is too is a lot of games they do dailies and time gating because it works you know it does work a lot of people come home there's like fuck it i just do log in and i do my dailies and i log out you know it's like it, it, it works for a lot of people i'm not saying it works for all of you guys but i think that's why a lot of games are like that you just it, it's it, it gives you like that's what a daily is right a daily is a is something that you log in to an mmo and they were made because back in the day, we didn't really have dailies with old MMOs. Even WoW implemented dailies way later on. You know, they really came in like in TBC. There were some dailies, but not that many. And then Burning Crusade, we started seeing more dailies. They were usually behind cosmetics, but it was a way to like log in. You had less time than you did when you started playing them when you were younger. So you log in and you you organize your time to be efficient, to get the things you do need to do to progress. And so I think dailies aren't necessarily a bad thing. I don't think time gaining is necessarily a bad thing. And that's also how they make money too, right? Like the monetization of the game. It's like, oh, if you want to make more gold this week, you can buy it, which same thing in throne too right like if you want to get more lucent you're capped you're literally it's rng based but there's a cap on how much lucent you can make because there's a limited amount of enchanted inks and a limited amount of train extraction stones right you're ultimately pretty capped you can sell marins for fucking nothing burgers but like yeah you're, you're essentially capped so a lot of games are like that i personally am someone that, that this is this is my biased opinion because i get to just play as much as i want to i like having some mindless grinds I really do. I, I feel like that's like my 
That's my personal biggest critique of Lost Ark is I wish there was more mindless grinds because the raids are really fun, but like sometimes I want another way to just chill and vibe out, which is why I like Chaos Dungeons. It's just like I get to sit there like AFK, just kill stuff and progress my character. You know, I just, I just like that kind of stuff. I think the raids are fine, but you know, like I, I like doing Chaos Dungeons. It's just chill. And then, you know, maybe I do a difficult raid or something and then, then I do, do more Chaos Dungeons or, you know, contract. I mean, contracts, the only, the problem with contracts contracts and throne and the problem with it that's what i was gonna i'm gonna i was gonna talk to ken but we're doing a podcast on tuesday we're gonna have blue squadron from bdo canon for throne and me for lost ark and we're gonna talk about the three games but the problem with throne right now is the content is so fucking narrow like everything is it needs something else you know what i mean like outside of the pvp wars if that doesn't exist there's just like you're doing the same motherfucking contracts really and it, it just feels like a little too, and they have other juice, but if they release the other juice, then it increases. You, it's bad to do that in Throne because if you think about it, someone that's free to play, they fully trade out their shit and then you release new gear for them to fully trade out, bro. It's like, you can't do that. So they, they could release the content maybe with different the same gear but if you make people do that it's like you got to be very very careful on when you do that it's not very straightforward on how you make lucid and throne like i said it's not easy i would say it's easier to make gold and lost ark than it is in throne because you can sell stuff in lost ark and you can just do your raids right whereas in throne you're at the mercy of what the game gives you you know you can get really lucky or really unlucky and so you got to be very i think it's more delicate in how you you make people progress right it's i don't know it's all it's it's hard. Korean MMOs are difficult, man. They're all they, they all have a lot of problems. I think in general, they're all very difficult. MMOs in general, I think, have a lot of problems. It's hard to maintain, you know, good gearing, good progression in any game. I mean, that's the big thing in BDO right now is the the gearing and the progression, you know. And that game has, honestly, I would say, a much more like lax like. Although you can endlessly grind, it's very lax. The whole game is very lax. And you can just straight up buy your upgrades as well. So it's like with in-game currency, right? Like with farming, you know, so it's hard. It's hard. It's hard to, it's, you know, each game has different things going on with it. It's a good video though. I agree with some of it. I don't know. I don't agree with all of it, but I think it's, um, yeah. Do you think people exaggerate how unlucky they are? Image never feels good to be unlucky. You know what I mean? <laughs> Like it never feels good to be unlucky, especially, I mean, especially if you pity a big weapon or, and it does suck, man. You know, back in the, back then when these rates were super high, pitting something from a 21 to 22 fucking sucked. You know, it was really bad. It was way worse than fucking, the reality was pitting back, like that's why it's, this is way worse. It is ultimately worse if you remember pitting a big item than doing some elixirs because like pitting a big item, bro, would set you back fucking forever ever bro it would set you back a shitload i don't i'm not a fan of this honing either but i do I, i'm not a fan with this level i think this should be which you know should be like the 23 to 24 to 25 range you know it should it should always be above the content you know i think honing should be the thing that you do to which is kind of what we're seeing right honing is what you do to get to the content and then to get powerful through the content we're not really doing honing you know we're doing art we're doing agar gear then you're going to be doing bracelets they, they that I think that's what they're doing. If you just notice, if you look at it, right? It's like the honing is to get to the content, but back in the day, what did you do to get stronger? It was kind of like, you know, you had clown trumpets and shit, but it's how we've always kind of had something. You know, it was interesting yesterday we were talking on stream and there was somebody that was like, oh, like it's, it's, it was funny. We were talking like, oh, it's dumb that we're doing the raid to get our characters up to gear. I'm like, well, that's exactly what you did when tier three came out. If you remember when tier three came out, guys, you guys had blue accessories. You didn't have relic gear remember you had purple armor then you got legendary armor then you got relic armor that gave you your set bonus you had blue accessories then you got purple accessories and you made your three by three set then you got yellow accessories that made your four by three set no but that was the fun i wouldn't say it sucks at all i would say that was literally that was arguably the most popular part of the game and that was fun making your accessory set was the fun of the game when you got your four by three like that was really fucking cool that was at least my favorite part what else do you want to do just hone like the best thing is like creating your character. I mean, we can say to each his own, but I would say that is way more fun to me than just, oh, I'm gonna go tap some more mats, you know? It, like that is way more fun. Like set, setting up my character versus just, okay, I'm gonna go tap some more mats. It's much more interesting. Yeah. Some people ruin their own fun for sure. Yeah. I think it's more enjoyable than just, oh, I get gold, right? Yeah, right now, I, I, that's my opinion right now. We'll find out how it's gonna feel when Agar comes. Saint says it's the most fun part of, of tier four in general. El 
she is when you get your A gear, gear then you get your accessories then you get your your arc passive points and then you get you just get stronger every week for just literally playing the game which i think is fun you know i don't want to just hone but everyone's different i guess maybe just collecting gold is fun i can't wait to play sparking zero i'm downloading it right now yeah i'm playing later get the get out, Yeah, the land. Are you fucking kidding?